This is the speaking test for the International English Language Testing System. The examiner is Daniel Thornton and the candidate is Daria Timoshkina. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Thornton. Can you tell me your full name, please? Uh, my name is Daria Timoshkina. Thank you. Now let's talk about what you do. Do you work or are you a student? I am. Um, I work. I'm not a, a student anymore. <laughs> It was a long time ago. What do you do? I am a laboratory assistant in neurological clinic for, for children. What do you enjoy most about your work? Uh, it's very pleasant to see when uh, doctors can help any children to get well and to, to feel, them, feel, feel better. Do you think you will work in this career for a long time? I suppose, yes. <laughs> Why? Mm, because it's very interesting. You meet uh, different cases you've only heard about during your uh, studying. And so uh, I, I suppose it's a good uh, job. Now let's talk about advertising. Do you ever watch advertisements on television? Okay. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> Why? Mm? Why? Uh, if uh, they are interesting. Because I watch them if they are interesting. Has seeing an advertisement on the internet ever made you want to buy anything? Maybe unconsciously. <laughs> I don't know. Why? <laughs> if the advertisement is very good, uh, maybe I um, um, translated it to me, uh, to me and maybe I... I don't know, unconsciously, I want to buy the product they uh, advertise. Do you think that advertisements on billboards make a city look nicer? Mm, if they have a special style that um, fits the city, maybe it mm, looks good. But if it um, don't fit, if it doesn't fit, it's not very pleasant to just see it. <laughs> What are the best places for companies to advertise their product or service? Maybe in now in internet and in on the I suppose maybe on the special sites. Uh, for example, if you are selling products for the artists, you may put your uh, ad advertising into the uh, I don't know spe special artist sites such as Divine Art or something like that. Now let's move on to talk about shops. What kind of shops are there near where you live? Mm, city Mall. <laughs> It is called just like that. <laughs> um, it's a big uh, shopping center with different uh, stores of different uh, brands. Uh, you can buy their clothes, books, I don't know, uh, some stationery or products. Uh, What kind of shops do you usually like to visit? Bookstores and uh, disc and TV or a video store. Wow. <laughs> I like, I don't know, it's a very good atmosphere in there and I like to visit them to um, just just watch, not maybe buy any, any anything because it's cheaper to buy the items in the in, on the internet. Uh, but just to go there and to, to watch at the books, to... Um, Um, turn the pages and uh, to, to, I don't know, to, to evaluate them before buying them do on the you, internet. Do you think the location of a shop is important to its success? I suppose yes. Because uh, there is a clear example, uh, for, exa um, uh, for example, the Pionierska metro station, the city mall, which is close to the station is much more popular than the other center, Capitolium, uh, which is far uh, farther. And it's uh, now going to uh, become the uh, discount center because no one goes there for shopping. <laughs> now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Okay. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. You can make some notes if you wish. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Here's some pen and a paper for making notes. Here's your topic. Please don't write anything on here. I'd like you to describe a festival in your country.
All right. Remember, mm-hmm. you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry okay. if I stop you. I'll tell you when the mm-hmm. time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Yes. Um, it's very hard question about the festival in our country because I uh, don't think the festival culture is very popular in our country. We have some national celebrations, such as the end of the winter or, I don't know, uh, celebration, but festivals, uh, they are only um, some cultural festivals in cinemas, for example, or some cultural centers of the other countries. Uh, so <laughs> I can't exactly remember the uh, any any big festival we, in, in the country, in the city. Mm. But I can uh, talk. Uh, I, can, I can tell you about the, you know, for example, the end of the winter celebration. It's people bring together. Uh, they um, bake pancakes and with different um, um, different toppings. And uh, it's uh, there are many uh, crowds on the streets and different amusement. Uh, there are for people and children uh, and some competitions, some um, um, you know, music and uh, I, don't know, I don't know what else. And um, it lasts for uh, all the weekend and the week before, but at the weekend uh, it uh, it is fully presented, the celebration, all that. Uh, and that's all I suppose. Can you tell me anything more about that? Anything more about that? Mm. Uh, at the end of the celebration, people burn the uh, figure of the muslin uh, as a symbol of um, the winter uh, Thank you. Gone. Did mm-hmm. you celebrate this this year? Yes. But I worked at the weekend, so <laughs> maybe I celebrated it. I bake uh, pancakes and eat them in the middle of the week. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have the book, look, and the paper and pen back, please? Thank you. We've been talking about a festival in your country, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions mm-hmm. related to this. Let's consider, first of all, cultural identity. What things make a person's cultural identity? I suppose the country where he or she is from, because uh, uh, it's different um, culture. Uh, he was born and raised in different cultures, different literature, different music, different language, and different traditions. That's why I suppose uh, all the people are not the same because they have different point of views, so have different problems and different issues because they are born and raised in different conditions. You mentioned some of these different factors like language, literature, food, for example. Which of these do you think is the most important? Um, traditions, traditions, language, maybe in uh, any languages you even cannot find uh, some uh, words which are, uh, those are in your own language. That's why they, the people who uh, sp- speak, speak uh, those la- th- that language, they can even don't know uh, about the problems and words <laughs> like that. Why do some cultures not survive? Uh, because they weren't um, adop- adapted to uh, the uh, um, to the conditions which uh, were changed. In what ways? I suppose I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they just simply assimilated into other cultures and it was easier to assimilate than to support their own culture. Some people say that more cultures will die out in the future because of globalization. What do you think? I suppose, yes. I I can mm, mm, give the example that my uh, grandmother, she's Komi. But she uh, and her husband, who is also Komi, didn't teach their children their language and their traditions because they they didn't think it's useful. 
Let's now consider citizenship. Um, what things make a good citizen these days? A good citizen? I don't know. <laughs> you can. Uh, you have to uh, just... Um, I forgot the word. <laughs> uh, you have to not to bother, I, I don't <laughs> remember, not to bother other people. Uh, you have to mm, behave yourself like you uh, want other people behave yourself with you. That's the only rule, I suppose, not to make any harm more. Is being a good citizen the same in every country? I suppose yes. Why? It's because uh, the uh, only mm, uh, to respect laws, to respect other people, respect. I remember. <laughs> I remember the word uh, is the only rule to uh, live. Uh, I don't know. To be the good citizen, to be the good man or woman or something. Why might some people wish to be citizens of other countries? Maybe they like they like uh, other countries' rules more, or other countries' conditions. I don't know. <laughs> people in other countries, because many people in some countries don't realize that uh, they should um, behave themselves well. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is the end of the speaking test. Okay.